We've just fitted the uh, Corum Showers Premier 8 sliding door shower cubicle with side panel. And we're going to show you how we did it. So you're going to get four or five really pro tips as well along the way and great features about this product. So let's check it out. I'll have a look at the instructions and see what we do first. See, oh, yeah. Let's see what the difference is. I never look at instructions either. I always do that. I always do it, and then I end up with bits left over at the end. Um, okay, well, I'll do that then. How about that? Yes. I'm going to walk past you here. Might be a bit big, but we can fix that. Technical stuff going on. I've got a... Uh, a um a really really massive dust sheet which I fold up into like oh, six no. places. How are your knees these days? <laughs> <laughs> I've got the most brilliant knee pad. Oh I haven't brought any with me today I'm in jeans yeah. so I might have to use uh, some of this. Yeah <laughs> well supplying all the knee pads. Right let's have a look we're normally working on our own so uh, it's good to have someone to bounce off and see what you're going to do first. Make a bit of noise here, sorry. Before we begin to commence, I just want to uh, make sure that the, everything's been prepared properly, you know. Let's stick that on there, make sure the tray's... Plum. Level. Uh, it's level. The tray's good, what about the walls? Check the walls, yeah, check the walls. What's really important is that we look at both instruction books. Yeah, I know, because sometimes you just get one out and read that instead. Um, so we've, got to, we've got to look at them both because we're going to be fitting the door and the side panel. I also think instruction booklets from now on should be sprinkled with jokes in them to make people actually read them all. So we're going to build the panel so we okay. need the, the, the two... Yeah, get the upright. part of the glass and then the uprights. Yeah, if we get the uprights out, get everything laid out and then we can sort of start yeah. going through it. Yeah. Like Trojans. Like Trojans. Yeah, let's do this. Well, normally what I do is I do do that. I get, I get the, get it all the bars all out and yeah. everything, and I stick yeah. the screws there, but obviously, yippee, we don't need screws. Okay, so, right, so that's the, uh, that's the wall profile, by the looks of it. Yeah. Pre-drilled holes, fabulous. Yeah. Oh, pre-drilled holes. Makes our life much easier. Very nice. Also, there's this thing at the top, which is going to be how we're going to join them together with that, with that cam. Flip it round as well, so that, flip it round and have a look. Look at that, so that's where the can yeah. grabs. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. That makes life loads easier, doesn't it? So the door needs to be moved out of the way carefully. This is the bit I really don't like. <laughs> right, anything on here. So other profile. Yep. Strip that down. Right, and here we are with the other... Uh, so, so the wall profile. What's going on here then? So when you're doing a shower installation, yeah. what's your like, the satisfaction? I call it the glory work. My mate Jamie always tries to steal it. It's, for me, it's siliconing. So what's yeah. it for you? For me, it's uh, cleaning my fingerprints off the glass at the end. Oh, that's the bit I hate. What do you use for it? No, I don't love it, but it's the crowning glory. But, but what do you use to get them off? Especially if you've got like, a bit of silicon on your hand. I use a proprietary wipe. Oh, okay, big wipes. Yeah, I used to use multi-sole, that was quite good. <laughs> so would you say the most important aspect, other than reading the instructions, is just getting everything out and laying it I out? I think, yeah, yeah, we get it out. And also noticing that uh, we've got to make sure we put the glass the right way around because there's a, there's a uh, pre-cleaned, um, a treated side. You get that nice bead effect, don't you, yeah. when, it, when you're in there? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, let's Actually, pop it on top of this bit here for a sec. Nice and lightly. We'll move this box it out of the way. We're making room. Here we go. Ha, da, 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 da. My favourite bit. You have that bit. Because look, see that groove there? So that's where the glass goes and it's got the stop already fitted so we don't have to find that stupid little screw and screw that in. Yeah. 
Now, normally what you've got is a shelf and you have to lay it on. Yeah. Yeah, and it, oh, they're and a nightmare. They're a nightmare. And they have that clip, the L-shaped clip that goes back. And guess what they make it out of? Plastic. Plastic, yeah. yeah never works well. Okay, right, oh, so. So, we've got one. The detail now, let's check the detail. All right. So, we've got our tight the uppy bits there. Yeah. So, these have got to lay on their back, haven't they? Um, yeah, so there's that hole, which is there. And since our glass is this way, we'll put them, so this one can be at this yeah, end, this, and you grab yeah, the other one for that one. other end. So this is the box with everything in. So here are the cams and this is what makes all the difference with this uh, shower cubicle is that normally you've got a box of screws which are a nightmare but uh, this looks like it's going to be a piece of cake doddle with these like a flat pack shower cubicle. So I'm going to do that now. Close the box, make sure you don't lose everything, stick that down carefully. Okay, so on this one we're going to be doing shower screen sliding into the corner, aren't we? Yeah. With our corner one as well, so we use the other, the other uh, manual for that. So that's going to be 1 to 12, step yeah. 1 to 12. Yep, okay, okay. Cool. 12 glorious steps, rather than 39 steps. Right, yeah, so, so here we go This now. is a bit that I'm intrigued to see how it's going to work. Okay, so we've got the cam, we've got the arrow. Yeah. So the arrow's got to face towards the uh, pin. Yeah, pop that across. Yes. Give it a little tighten up. Now, I don't know about you, but that yeah, was man. very exciting. Well, you imagine as well, when you have those two screws, you usually have to screw through there. Oh, I know. And they always rip off. And they never fit your screwdriver and you drop them. Yeah. And that's amazing. That is, that's held solid. Less bits as well, if you think about it. You've only got four in there rather than, you know, 16 odd screws or whatever it is, you know. Install your product with this label on the outside. So we've got our frame on the inside, so we've got to turn the glass over so that this sticker is on the outside. Okay, ready for the flip? No. Sure, oh, I'll grab that on there if you want, or you go that way. Put that on the floor. It is ridiculously easy, actually. Ridiculously easy. Ridiculously easy. Also, you know what? The, inadvertently, this system guides you as to how far the glass needs to go into that, that run. Yes. A lot of people don't put it in far enough and end up stressing everything out. Look at that. Yes, perfect. Cool, do you see that? I've just put that, that corner thing underneath the glass here and it's just, Held it at the exact right height. <laughs> I want that back, by the way. <laughs> Is it yours? No. <laughs> look, I'm going to do it now, look. Hattie, do you always say fine as well? You always end up with loads of Phillips head and no slot in, in your box. Yeah. They always get lost, don't they, slides? You do. Because they're effectively chisels as well. <laughs> I always promise my screwdrivers I'm never going to do that to them, and I always do. Yeah, it always happens. Right, so look, we're solid. Yeah. Solid. I oh, know, it's crackers, isn't it? It's just solid. Yeah, look at And actually, honest. Because normally they are a bit flippy yeah. floppy, aren't they? Yeah. And you're always a bit scared that it's going to fall off the shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a really, really good, good idea. It's got 21 seconds to go, it's so solid. So we're up to level four, and then looking at it so far with those easy little things, that is probably like a two man job, actually, isn't it? Oh, sorry, hey. <laughs> Uh, so we've leveled up to level five. So now we've got these look really cool. Let's have a quick look at these close up because they're they are going to be. I don't think I've seen these before. Soft. Clothes. I've never seen a soft closed shower door. Let's check them out. Pre-drilled holes as well. And there, look, each side. Fantastic. The thing is, you do get a feel for stuff. Look at that screws in there as well, all in one thing. Someone's thought about this. Someone thought. Look and the covers. Oh, very nice can't see anything look it's very good right so I'm going to leave them in there because they're they're like for later they're for Ron I'll leave them in there for Ron yeah you okay. know Ron for the glory <laughs> okay then so right um soft close well yeah we can do uh, one each a little we? layout do you ever find that helps laying, laying the instructions in front of it orientating them to what you're doing <sighs> Yeah. 
I do it, I do it every time. <laughs> so we need to figure out which is the top, and that depends on where the door's going to go. Exactly. So if the door's going to go on the outside... Swing in that way. Yeah, swing in that way. So that's going to be closed, that's going to be open. So this is our top, if that's going to go that's up like that. Yeah, that's okay. our top. So now, once we've worked out the top, they, they go opposite each other. The way you can imagine it, it's opposite to track. It's poetic being a plumber, isn't it? It is poetic. Yeah, I often recite. So hold on, this is the first actual screws we've put in, isn't it? Yeah. So far on this whole job. Apart from the camming. <laughs> but we haven't that doesn't count, screw, does it? No. Don't use an impact driver on this bit, kids, by the way. You end up with smashed glass everywhere. Um, and the holes are the perfect size. That is also no something to rejoice about, I've got to say. Look at that. Perfect size. Got a screw left over, I was just saying. You know what you could do with that? Kneel on it. <laughs> the worst pain I'll ever. Kneel, I'll kneel on it later. There you go. I'll save it for Ron. And now we also know what the top is all the time for the rest of the job. Yeah. Easy peasy. Right then. Level six. That's the wall panel. So that's the wall panel. Again, with these pre-drilled, well, the pre-drilled holes. Yeah. Uh, now then, according oh. to the instructions, there's a special thing in the box. Is yeah, there not? and also we've got this little blobby bit here. Yeah, that's, that's the seal. So that means no, no silicon needed? Uh, well... Depends on who grouted it, doesn't it? That's the thing. I would always still put silicon. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we referring to here? Side panel or main enclosure now? Uh, side panel. Okay. Ah! I know now. It's not this bit here, is it? Where is it? Yes. Put it in here. Is that it? That's the one. Ooh. Two as well. One for me, one for you. Quick tip here. We've got a, a really deep channel here um, where the pencil or whatever might not fit in. So, uh, and I don't have a marksman. And some pencils don't write on tiles. So mm. what I've discovered is that the ordinary wall panels have got the holes in exactly the same place. So I'm going to use the ordinary wall panel to mark the holes yep. with a Sharpie and then discard that and then Screw your holes. Yeah. that with those fantastic tubes. You can put the screw into here, hold that and then screw in. Obviously that'll expand and allow your drill bit yeah. to go in. I mean, that saves you putting a blob of silicon on the screw head or all the little tricks we have to do to, to get it in. Nice that they've done that as well. I didn't really need to do that. And that's just an extra thing that, that counts, isn't it? Yeah, it does count. And that'll go in the, the tool bag afterwards for future. Yeah, that'd be handy for a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Right then, to the wall. Right, so which profile where? So um, that one, that's the side, that's the side profile. Side so profile. that's going to go here. Okay, lovely. And then the other wall profile, which we can use this one, will go over. Pop over there. The okay, great. But I'm going to use this to uh, mark get my, that one. Yeah. So Six it's f bits. five mil minimum from the edge of the uh, shower tray. Okay, cool. So I'm going to mark that now. Do you want to get the bubble on there for you? Please. Or as I call it, the buble. The buble. The Michael. Oh, I love a buble. So there, we're on, we're on about eight mil. So from there to there, it's about right. Okay, so are we all level there, my dear? Yeah, we are. Okay. Right, drilling time. Hattie? You do it. No, 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 I'm doing the runners on the door where you do that. If I do it, I'll skew it up, you know. And it's the bit, I, I love doing it, believe me, but not today. <laughs> All right, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, go on then. Charlie's angel. I'll get on with these. Let's go. God, I thought you were gonna walk on the glass then. <laughs> Need me hammer. Is it going to go in? There we go. In you go. There we go. These are hard though. There we go. Let's get this 
wall panel on. The bit with the seal there, that goes on the outside. That saves us because not often we put silicon on there and then it all squidges out and you've got to get a nice clean finish. What do the screws look like as well? Let's have a it's look. It's those same screws that you, uh, that you hate. You want me to wang one in for you? Yeah, go on. Oh, yeah, let's try the screw bit. The screw, <laughs> the screw, the screw tube. The screw tube? Yeah. Sounds quite like good, actually. Yeah, screw tube. It's stuff. got a ring to it, isn't it? Yeah, it has. So bear in mind, I've never used this before. I'm getting a feeling yeah. that we're going to pop the screw in like that and then you could just pinch it with the, with the tubey bit. Yeah. Like so. Looks, looks about right. I mean, almost. I mean, the first one, you can always just get up here, get into the hole. Oh man, that works really well. Look at that. Straight through without dropping it once. Yes, that looks lush. Straight in, no hassle. I am getting the glory work here as well. Yeah. You've done the hard work. I'm just like, oh. It's easy, isn't it? Just the screwing. So what's that, what's that little, the sort of former bit, the well, profile, is that going in nice? Well, we'll do in a minute when you get there, but don't go too far because we've got to get yeah. the other screws lined up. Yeah. Let's go see it now, you know. It is, it? No, it's doing it, it's doing it. It's is it? Really good Let's give that a little nip, come on. Go on, go on. This is where this tool I'm comes into its own. Look at that. Push it too hard now. Yeah. Oh, mate, I wasn't even pushing at all then. Let's keep, just, I'm going to hold it, pull it down just so it tries to... By now I've normally sworn. Yeah, cut your hand. Plenty, cut my hands, sworn. Like that, <coughs> straight through. <laughs> thrown away some screws and tried to find some others. Yeah, you can be my buble holder. Oh, hold on, which way is the bigger bit going in? The, uh, the seal goes on the outside. On the outside, okay, great. Lucky one of us is reading the instructions. Hold on, let me get the buble. When you did your eight mil, did you do it to the back, back to the wall where the front of the profile was? Front of the profile. There we go. Put it back here. Don't get it in your face. Oh. No, you got it in your face. Ah, I'll <laughs> Right, that's it, we're in. I worked with Hattie for one day and I choked on Penley. Right, you want me to do this bit, don't you? I hate drilling tiles. What's the best bit of advice you've been given? Um, for me, by who? don't fill up the system after two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> and don't put the hose away until you've pressurised the system. Oh, no, I've done that. Yeah, that is, well, that's superstition, I know, but... I've done that. Don't flush a toilet when you ain't connected the pan. <laughs> I did that at a family job. Oh, I felt like such a plonker. <laughs> Lucky I hadn't used it. <laughs> oh, let's just go over here a bit. Hey. Oh, <gasps> we've hit wood. Come on. Right, can't then your bit now. <laughs> So we don't need See, that, I'll tell you what, look at these. That. So that's, that's where they grab, isn't it? So that's got to be the adjuster bit. So, that, so when we come to fit this at the end, that pushes up and gets in the right place. Yeah. So that'll save us from getting those little screws, especially like when they're right on the edge. Yep. You know how much the hell that can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll have a look in a minute. Brilliant. Fantastic. Right, I'll clean up after you, Jim, shall I? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> oh, hold on, I haven't put a plug up here. Oh, we don't need we to, don't do we? We don't need one. I've been looking forward to this tube. So we'll see your biggest industry myth. What do you think, like, yeah, it's like the biggest lie or, or whatever? Actually, it's a good point because I think the biggest industry myth is that we're all out to rip people off. Yeah, and that we're not educated. We're not, yeah, and that we're not educated, that we don't know what we're doing, or we're only after the money. Yeah, that's all, that's all rubbish. I mean, you wouldn't do it if you weren't earning a bit of money, but... Obviously, you've got to yeah. earn a living, but... I think, you know, there are, obviously there are those that do rip people off, but by no means is it all of us. Some of us take pride in our work. But it's the same in every walk of life and job, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone's sort of doing that. City traders, all that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. What about, right, when you go to a job, can you ever suss out whether you're going to get trouble paying or not? <laughs> like, the richer the customer, the bigger the car, 
you know that the worst the worst they are at paying yes if you go to like you know an old couple who've got you know living on their pension they will pay every time straight away won't they yeah yeah you know yeah and they value the, the fact that you've you know spent that time with them so what's the, what's your favorite thing about being a plumber james um definitely the like, self-employed aspect having the control over your own life yeah. but obviously you know, if you go to a house, I mean, the best bit is when you go to a house where they've got no heating and you're on to 100%, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to fix their heating and they're going to be warm by the end of it. Yeah. That's always kind of cool. You come out of that. You know what? I've got an old customer that I've worked for for years, Judy, and like Emily always knows whether I've been working around there because I'll come out with like a bag of food, like mm. homemade marmalade, yes, like yeah. cauliflower, <laughs> just like really weird stuff, you know, and working with people like that is really nice to sort of help them out and... Do that sort of thing. What about you? Yeah, well, definitely for me, it's the the hero element. Yeah. That having control of my own life is and uh, uh, self-employment is it for me. Yeah. I couldn't do it if I wasn't self-employed. Really, I couldn't. I mean, the fact is, actually, I've never had a job as a plumber. Yeah. No one would employ me. I'm looking forward to this bit with this little cranky bit here. That's going to be good when they click in. Yeah. Oh, come so, on, I, I think we've done the hard work, really. Should we just go home? Yeah. <laughs> just leave it. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. A tip I've always found to be useful. Just can we just put it down on the? Yeah, put it down the side. Squish the, squish, squish that, that 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 one. Squish yeah. that a bit because this has got to go on the outside. So just squish it a bit makes it easier. It's got that nice little taper as well, isn't it? Just yeah. to sort of help you guide it. Go from the outside. Give that a nudge now, if you can. Yeah. Is that it? That's it. That's in. Excellent. Right, nudge at the bottom. Just bring it down. Yeah. So, that's on the outside. please note, Store your product with this label on the outside. Perfect. So that means this is the bottom corner there. Yep. Yep. Yes. So do you want to ping it up? And it goes, push at the bottom. Lovely. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God. That is... It's good, isn't it? Usually that's screws, that's like hell, isn't it? Hell. Hell on earth. Yeah. And then all you've got to do is bring it out to get it square. Yeah, exactly. Out square, if possible. Ooh. Not too much. That's it. Go. That's it. That is it. And we can bring this one. Yeah, you can bring this one. Slightly. Up. Hopefully that way, a little bit. <laughs> How much have you got at that end, do you think? We've got loads at the bottom by the looks of it. It's uh, how it comes out, isn't it? Yeah, is that it? Probably want about another two mil, something like that. This is beautiful, man. Beautiful. Right, so now we've got it in and we've adjusted it correctly. We've just got to put those things in there. Yeah. 5055650. Yeah, good name. Yeah. <laughs> Push them in. And that basically locks it all in place, and then we can put the little caps over to hide yeah, make it look hide nice. them. Amazing, fabulous. Don't say that often about a shower cubicle. Well, that's amazing. Uh, no screws, no drilling into the profile, no iron filings in the shower tray, and it looks looks really good as well. Right, so I've got to put this seal in. It's a bit of a funny shape, and I need to know which way it goes round. Jimmy, give us a hand, give us a hand. There you go, instructions. Stop. <laughs> oh yeah, all right, I got it, I got oh, it, God. give me five. Where are you starting? I'm gonna start at the bottom. So it was a good idea to start at the bottom because I've done it before of you. You start at the top, you come down and it's too bloody long. Right, so I'm going to start at the bottom. Let me see, let me put it in now. 
Okay, and in we go. Beauty. Nice one, Corum. That just goes in like a dream. Look at that. That's given us a fantastic seal, so no silicon needed there. Exactly the right length as well, Hattie. Oh, we're lucky this time. How about that? Fab you less. It's bad me. Love Not it. Not too hard. Right then, Hattie, again. Who's that bit that gets you? Or me, it's my brain anyway. So install your product with this label on the outside. So this is the outside face. Yep. Which means I'm saying that is the bottom. Yep, I'd say top. that. I'd say that too. Right, so you've got the top ones over there and they've got that special clip, haven't they, to take the slow close. Yes, they have. Let's see if we can just I've not seen one of them before, yeah. so let me have a look at one of them and see. see oh, that? oh yeah, so that'll be that bit. So you don't normally get that. Takes that little bit there. Yeah. And you've also got this uh, this little, little covering. Little cover that's just gonna stick on and, and I think what I really like about it as well is that it seems to be like the uh, it's flush. You know, normally you get that yeah, big bit, bit of bottom. chrome like covering at the back that you have to like wash around and it gets all grit and rubbish in it. Also on the bottom ones you've got quite a good travel of adjustment there. Probably about a yeah. cent good centimetre on there, haven't you? Yeah. On the thread. Yeah. On that, so that's good to see. So the one with the hook has got to go onto the far roller. That's going to be the, the, the uh, slow open and close jobby. So we put that on there. Do you always put the door handle on first, Hattie? No, I always put it on last. lifting aid? Sometimes I'll pop it on just to help me something to hold. Sometimes, yeah, it depends. I always put it on last. I always do the, the I, always, I count the doors, uh, the door handles and such like as, and all the caps and covers, I, I count them it's as the kind of like part. a third fix almost. Yeah. Okay. Huh? So, I'm looking forward to seeing this uh, soft closed jobby. Yeah. Right, we're in as a top. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at it. Let's call it that way. Chill, 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 chill. This way. Oh, yeah. Magic. Tell you what, that's nice spot pretty spot on. It's spot a little on. Bit well, we've, got to, we've got to just push those uh, bottom wheels down. It's been a while since I've been in the shower with a man. I wouldn't call me a man. <laughs> Tell us when, Hattie, on this, yeah. this one here. That's probably about as much as I'd give that. Once you've got the um, magnet strip on, Probably going to have a little bit more play in there as well. Nice though. This is where I've got to watch out for my eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that looks like that's got to go on there. We love reading the instructions, don't we? How many times you caught us just being like, ah, oh, well, guess that. <laughs> yeah, be one like that, wouldn't it? And the other one will be at the other end of the door, probably. Scraping along. But let me have a look. That's right. Now you're right then. Now you're right. Yesterday, all Hattie's troubles seem so far away. Coming towards the end now. Could do with a cup of tea, really. <laughs> <laughs> I was working in the bathroom once, and this old this woman watched me. She stood and watched me, and every time, every so often, she'd disappear. And make herself a brew. And me making herself a brew. She never made me one. Out of order, innit? At all. I mean, I don't like drink brews all day long because I need the loo. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but still, you do the covers, I'll do the rubbers. Ah, oh, that's why they've got those holes there. Ah, oh, I was wondering that. Ah. Have you ever installed a shower, Hattie, and then used it on the job? Never. I've done that. I left my pants there oh. as well. That was when I was filming that. I was filming a couple of doors down from my house. I have installed a shower and then the household asked me if I wanted to use it. I said no. Why not? <laughs> she, was, she wasn't my type. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've been looking forward to doing this. Top of the screws, look at that. So that it remains flush, so it's easy clean. That will just stick over there like that. Look at that. Nublet. Do you mind? 
This is glory work here. Go ahead. I think that's a very important part of working with someone, divvying out and equally dividing the glory work. I had the glory of the little... Oh, that's true, actually, yeah. Knock yourself out. Let's get that started. I know, it's going to go, in it? Hey. I just lightly rest that on there. Yeah. And then back down here. <laughs> this is the bit, you're gonna nip it up and it's gonna be the holes upwards, isn't it? What do you do? You're almost better off just leaving that down there. You don't want to see that hole, do you? Yeah, no, it's best. Yeah. Right, so we've just finished installing the Corum Premier 8 sliding door shower enclosure, which was very nice indeed. It took about 50 minutes, all of which I enjoyed. <laughs> I hope I, you did. I enjoyed, I enjoyed most of it. So what were the like, best bits for you? Well, for me, definitely, it was the fact that uh, you could click it together, the corner bit, because okay. the corners are always a problem. So yeah. Clicking it together, the tightening mechanism, once you put the uh, cam put thing. It together, the cam thing was really brilliant. Yeah. The, um, the rollers on the door. Nice soft close. The flush uh, thing on the uh, doors as well, so, you, so it's easy to clean. How long do you think we saved? How long do you think uh, we saved on this job? Oh, at least. Well, those sorts of things, you know, I, I've spent in my time, I've spent about an hour putting those screws in. So that's saved, that was just like that. So yeah. I've, I definitely reckon we've saved an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, definitely. On that job. I'm not going to say how much that is in money, but that's still pretty good. <laughs> Do you want to work with me again? I want to work with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>